Blog Talk Radio. I apologize. Good day. Hola, hola. This is Irene. Oh, there she goes. It says, here it is. Uh, oh, no, Bob Marley have that something. Oh, no, this is something, something, or something. Anyway, I would describe myself as a, <laughs> as a Guinness drink, honey, a stout, okay? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what their song Bob Marley was singing, but anyway, it's called, honey, it's called, um, Guinness. <laughs> um, I wanted to say that I had, uh, was looking at some videos yesterday, and I don't know if I had mentioned a conversation that I was having. Well, no, I had a conversation. No, I mentioned. <laughs> uh, we don't even know what's going on, or, you know, you know, I guess down parking us. I know. I'm not like, sure that you got connections, boo boo. Why don't you go there to this T V station and say, you know what? I wanna hang out with you, y'all. Let's have some sessions, boo. <laughs> so you know I wrote that letter. And it did take me a little while. You know I have to do the rough draft and move this, you know, back in the day, you do the rough draft, you do it, it depends on, then you put it on something. Rough draft is go on the computer, and then here it is, you have to line out certain things, because sometimes you get a little bit wordy, and go way over here, way over there, and it puts the things in perspective. So anyway, I thought that as soon as this particular letter was actually pretty tasteful, so I'm going to read it to you guys, okay? And so, um, I'm, yes, I'm saying it's a D-E-T in essence. I don't know, I just saw, you know, a couple of addresses. It's like, okay. I know she's there somewhere, but they don't get it. Somebody will. <laughs> we are so beautiful from our lineage of onyx to albino diversity, diversity of our hair. We are woolly and straight. I assume there's so much material addressing women and their mannerism. I think our beautiful people, I think we are beautiful people and need to acknowledge our swirpiness through a scope of the onyx lens. Excuse me. The world, we are Asian, we are European, we are Indian, we are African. We have poise, etiquette, grace, and morale. We should embrace our ethnicity around the world. It contributes to our understanding that we become enlightened and humble from the women from various places. To speak on the subject of race, and our behavior on media today, conniving motive. Our multiplicity is good. Our complexity is in the Olympics. We realize the word, the word, the witness. We must question who is teaching our females morality and esteem. Affirmations and praise of our variation is preferred. We are. We are white. We are yellow, we are red, we are brown, we are onyx. Our hair, our skin, our features, our sizes, we are beautiful. What I do not see is representation of onyx women in the media. We can organize tulips. Tulips embraces womanity. We are mothers, we are daughters, we are nieces, and we are aunties. Do you see we are lenient? It is important that we acknowledge we carry life and what we communicate is important. Lord of mercy, Irene Ratliff. I, you know what? I didn't say <laughs> or salute. And as always, it's just that. Salute. See? But anyway, it's there. I didn't put Charlie Brees or anything. I already didn't print this thing out. But you know, it's all good. You know why? Because I put Street Me Card in there. Listen. <laughs> so, it's in there, okay? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That's the letter I'm sending off. Sorry, Bria, people. Today is Thursday. What? Thursday, July 17. You know, time be fine when you have having fun. You know, I haven't been really out there doing this and doing that. 
I have, but I haven't. You know what I mean? I've been kind of busy going on to the next level of what Strictly Company is and, you know, getting ready to communicate with other people. And I was kind of doing that, you know, like last month going into some of the SBA stuff. Well, now I'm trying to make some um, links in that area. Wow, that's all I have to say. Goodness gracious. Huh, you have to ask yourself many, many questions on that. What? <laughs> huh. Huh. Anyway. Okay. Again, my name is Ivan Ratliff Regal, Street Me Company. Street Me Company is a community organization. And that's a new seed in our garden. We are, well, somebody said it ain't a seed. It got a little, it's, it's more than a little seed. And I was like, well, I guess if you look at it, it's, it, 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 it you know, see, let me explain. You can have a tree, let's see, <laughs> and then here it is, a new seedling from the tree. You understand that's there. So I think that I want to address it as a new seed in our garden. <laughs> it would be my garden, but you know what I mean. But the thing is new to you. So you the point is, right, you know, hey, it takes some time for that. Um, once you put that little seed in the cup, you know, it takes, you know, a couple, six, seven, ninety days for that little sprout to come up. <laughs> so I'm a little bit over here, a little bit over there. You know what I mean. But anyway, if you do not, oh, and I had a bad day. For some reason, I feel like there's wrangling over there on, on the end of the side. But I, on this side, where are they? I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> yes, honey. Yes. <laughs> Um, I want to say that um, we are looking to work with people who are interested in um, the community, okay? Um, organizations and government entities that are aligned with our interests and help ameliorate those that can improve our community. Listen, you can call 646-564-9776. Um, the reason I said that, like that, is because, um, you know, what's been explained to me is that, um, like we should be humbled. Oh, yeah, that's true. But there should be not one reason why we would assume that our human, civil, and constitutional rights is not is is, is invalid. But it's valid. And whenever we're looking at someone who feel like they want to, you know, that tug of war. I don't know how somebody else is dealing with that because it didn't come off to them that way. They want to talk about some. I, you know, something, some overring. <laughs> the issue is, is that, well, irregardless, we always have people who are working to maintain our freedom and our liberation, okay? So I ain't going to fib to you. That would be an interest because whenever, don't get me misunderstood, someone who's already empowered, they should not be looking at you. You understand what I'm looking at? Here it is: how we maintain our, 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 our liberation, our freedom. You understand? So anyway, it was kind of looking like this, like for real, like why? Oh, you know, not always. I would do that, but it seemed like it's looking certain certain way here and here. So why they don't feel like they need to go out there and march and rally? You know, make it look a certain kind of way, but they do. Hmm. You understand where I'm coming from? Okay, but the thing is, is well, I don't for it. I ain't gonna feel too I'm like, oh, okay. It is important that we know that here it is, that is in our corners. Okay? We should not ever have jeopardized those documents that was a mean or stand when it came comes to our human civil constitutional rights. Now what I had explained some time before is um, we, there was no reason for us to communicate race when here it is the essence of our being seen beyond race. The point C. Okay? But those things are just quintessential in your building and structuring and all that kind of thing. Now, you can see here talking about laws and rights. I mean, laws a whole nother program because if you ask me, a lot of those laws need to be fine combed like that. Like we shouldn't even have them, uh, a lot of them. Some of them are there. 
you know, mediocre loss. Okay, yeah, speeding 50 miles in, 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 in a residential zone, there's zone for seniors. And, okay, I understand there's law school for why you should be driving 50 miles an hour. But when you start looking at those laws that have been a challenge of why we have men and women in jail, um, I was looking at, what was I? I was walking from um, Garnett Station area. Well, really, I was not on Garnett, but I was over there in the area on the back end of Garnett and the state west end. And as I was walking up the street, that's what I realized is that we have to look at these areas, especially areas where they have parks and um uh, you know, we're like, okay, well, why are these people going, getting incarcerated, and some of these, you know, things are buried here or here. We live in our community, right? But what it is is that some areas it needs to be reassessed um, because they may have, because I'm like, well, we have drug zones. <laughs> these drug zone areas actually probably have contributed to why some of our youth um, have been kind of incarcerated, like they're, being given adult charges, yes, is a problem. Fine combing our laws. So someone said, well, here it is. Well, they think here it is rally and protesting. I'm not going to know that's right. It depends on what that is. However, I do assume, no, I assume, I do know that we should have lawyers, okay, but lawyers, where we, if it was any part of mediation that we had it quite like that, our seat was just like that. But here it is, we sit at the boardroom, and yet here it is, we among, we converse about here it is, that thing about our livelihood. We live here, now on the two, so we live here. Now, I understand. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, well, I, anyway, that just kind of branched off into how I've kind of, um, what it is is that, don't get me misunderstood, I'm, I have cares and concerns for all kinds of people, and, and you know, I tell you, you know, I don't know, they say loose lips, sleep ships, some of them ships need to be the wrong way they go, and, you know, hallelujah. <laughs> you know, but the thing here is that when I look at my relationships with me, my relationship with me, and then my relationships with other people along the way, that I have been, um, you know, and people don't find me bickering. And I've come here to be mistreated and then have some men want to go ping pong about some other man. And I'm like, well, baby, if you're a man, and you baby, and you like it. No, excuse me, baby don't went somewhere else. Not my child. <laughs> but, you know, when you look at man of men, he ain't even have to go through all of that. To have another man tell me a female or a man to tell me a female about this and that, yeah, I ain't going to feel I got an issue like that. <laughs> now, with, now, here it is, you know, it's, it's, that's something for a man to tell a, another man how to run his own house. Because I'm going to be the woman to say, baby, I ain't going to feel you. You can't be having no other man poke you up in your own stuff. I ain't gonna fit to you, honey. I mean, we, we can't override being mistreated because somebody wants to talk about somebody's money. Say for real, why did they feel like they wanted to borrow with my money? <laughs> anyway, listen, she can call six four six five six four nine seven seven six, and you have to put her in my light. <laughs> She's in my light. Oh, my own light in her light. No, honey, <laughs> don't get it twisted. So you made that point. <laughs> no. We are on air up to 30 minutes daily at 11.30 p.m. by the grace of goodness. <laughs> okay. All right. 
Alright, and some bombs are all up on this, Lord of mercy, they can probably, alright, here them happen on here. July 25th, 2014, at Stone Mountain Park. It is a um, two-day event, and you must register, okay? Um, you can also mail P.O. Box 1. To, oh, no, 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 Anyway, um, streaming legal will be Sunday, August 3rd, 2014 at 2 p.m. at the Southwest Library, and I'm hoping to see you. There are so many things to do, and we value your support, and we encourage our listeners to get involved with um, their NPUs, okay? Go your politicians, join your libraries, to train your library cards. Those of you who understand that there's a lot of other good things to do. But there are people out there doing things. So I encourage people to go to Eventbrite or maybe even some other areas that is of interest to you. Sometimes you don't need a lot of money here and there, but I did tell you guys I went to the um, went to the Olympic Park area where they had the Coca-Cola and all that. I didn't go for the 200. What an employment opportunity that is for hospitality. I thought those tickets was ridiculous. Me and my family, we cover now. We want to hang out. We want to go to all the um e all the events. Okay, we're going to go to the Children's Museum, we're going to go to Coca-Cola, we're going to go to the um, National uh, Human Civil Rights, then we're going to go to the aquarium, and then we go to the park. Then here it is, we're going to go in a little jumping round thing over there. That's $500. Uh-uh. But we say a family of four, you know they want for that. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Okay, uh-uh. I'm like somebody in the hospitality group in them hotels. Okay, I'm paying hundred dollars for Omni. Okay, I got four family you know, you know, maybe I have to get an extra large room. They want to try to turn the extra room. I probably want my little space you know, my little free type of name. You know, I have my man and you know, the children over there. Hold up. Uh uh. That's a thousand dollars. I ain't even including food. Add that up. Uh-huh. I'm like, honey, boom, this is, when you look at, you know, that's what I do sometimes. I just look at different things here and there. And you're like, ah, oh, uh, uh. Anyway, um, they, <laughs> all right, what, do you, what, what else I do today? Oh, today we did the Ledette Enterprises. I will not be doing, um, you know, and the debt enterprise will be announced as true amelioration. Um, that is separate, but I just wanted to share with you guys what I was doing. I did go exercise. I wanted to say I did some yoga. Um, I ain't going to say it to you, honey. I encourage us doing the yoga. Oh, here it is. She taught us yoga. No, you taught yourself yoga. Here it is. Anybody who feel like they want to teach yoga, I encourage you, please go to India and learn how to do yoga. So anyway, you know how we oftentimes go, okay, where's the Africans and the blacks and the Indians and the Asian people? Say, so all these people ain't doing yoga. Well, that's a fib. There are people doing it just now on YouTube. <laughs> so we see um, here it is, the Occidentals, which is a good thing, honey. They look sexy. <laughs> so I ain't going to fix you, honey. It looks delicious. <laughs> honey, yes, the Kama Sutra and yoga go hand in hand and... The, um, if you're doing, people who study Egyptology, honey, Egyptology, don't be, that's yoga. Okay, don't get it twisted. It, yoga in itself is, is, is just universal, okay? It's universal, but yet, yes, it, 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 it has, a, its origin is Indian. We see that. And the reason why we see it is because we see that through the common future and because they really have, it's an art for them to do the stretching. It's just been carried down from one generation to the next. And yes, 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 I ain't going to say to you, no, good people, even if you do it for five minutes a day, 
you know, little Louisa had a like jump on your thing, and I was just like, I had all this rolls and rolls up there with me, like a big old butter. No, not butter. Not, no, nah, I don't know. That didn't went somewhere else, because butter is good. <laughs> I ain't going to say the blob. <laughs> you know, talking about me. <laughs> but I rolled up there, and I held it for a couple of seconds. I just said, let him out. <laughs> so I encourage, um, I also went to Ben Hill and exercise with the seniors. I'm like, well, you know, I'm in the community right now, so I'm like, okay, well, let me you know, in my neighborhood, and so I'm like, well, let me go ahead and go hang out with the seniors and go exercise with them, so they're going to have, a, we did weights today, so I kind of got on the little working with you, and I rode my bike a little bit, and I'm just like, wow, you know, but yoga, yes, people, we have, <laughs> that is in the science here, I mean, you have to look at yoga as science, it's numeric. And if you're being loud and belligerent with it, then it's not yoga. It's exercise. Yoga has a tranquility, a serenity, a uh, uh, mediation about it. So it's like when you're doing, you know, you're, if, you're actually, if you go to India and you actually do the um, mediation, you know, they want you to look at your third eye. And then your third eye, some people consider that to be a penal. So when you look at your, your yourself, you're like, okay, you're meditating. I used to do some things here and there, but what happened was, 